Hey guys, it's KJ. Sean. And Winnie from Disney Mom Life. Welcome and welcome back. If you like today's video, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you do. Ding that notification bell. And leave us a comment. And John, where are we and what are we doing today? Even though it's the end of the day, we're doing our intro now. So we are at Magic Kingdom today doing a vlog of the things we did on day three of our trip to Walt Disney World. Yeah, we're, we're not really sure how we're breaking out all these vlogs, but we're definitely going to have daily vlogs and other vlogs sprinkled in. So without further ado, here's our day at Magic Kingdom and also some other places. And... What's wrong with? You know that I'm the queen of overthinking. It's like we're done before we... Just like this, baby. <laughs> We're in the front, which is our favorite place to ride. Yay! Welcome aboard the Tomorrowland Transit Authority People Mover. You're quiet and free. Oh, yeah, one of my favorite rides of all time. It's been one of my favorites before it became a cult favorite. You having so much fun? She wanted to steer the wheel though. She kept slapping my hands to get off the wheel. <laughs> no, Dad, but no. She didn't have the power to do it or didn't even understand the concept of turning the wheel. She was just kind of like. Oh, oh. Dumbo! Someone's excited for Dumbo! We gotta get you out of the sun. But we think she had a good time on the speedway. She just ran out yelling about Dumbo. <laughs> at 8 a.m. and 
guys, I kind of wish we had gotten here earlier. We got here at what, a little before 10? A little before 10. It might have been crazy though, who knows? Maybe a lot of people, it could have been. really hot today, so a lot of people might be like, let's get two, three hours in the park and get out. Yeah, because the wait times are not that bad. In Fantasyland, a lot of them are anywhere from five to 25 minutes. By the way, that's also what we kind of um, were dealt with two days ago when we were at Magic Kingdom. The wait times weren't bad, so. Right, well, we, and we came in like after four o'clock on a Friday night, it's Sunday now, right. so. I'm guessing that the reduced capacity you feel most in this park because there's just so much to do and mm. so where to spread them out. And this was always the most crowded park, so when you start mm -hmm. reducing capacity. Yeah, so we're gonna go hit up Small World. That's a 20 minute wait, hopefully it is 20 minutes. Dumbo said five and it was 10. So we've actually have been experiencing the opposite a little bit of like the, what the wait time says as far as it being less. Have not experienced that yet. So it's either been right on the mark or longer. Uh, let us oh, know. that's not true. Yeah. They said Tomorrowland Speedway, they said it was 15. And no, on the like thing it said five. 10. Uh, and it was less. It was, no it was under it was 10? Yeah, it wasn't 10. Okay. We're hanging out for five to seven minutes at tops. Okay, all right, so that's one. But I don't know, I still feel like we've hit a few that were longer. So we'll see how long Small World is. I don't remember the last time we rode that. And here's the thing about Small World, ever since we went to Disneyland and rode Small World, it's like, it's been completely ruined for me in uh, Walt Disney World, so. Oops. But we'll still enjoy it. I love the characters, right? And that's like the best part of Small World in California. Yeah, it's cool to see them in the individual lands. Yeah, so I would love it if they refurbed Small World and Walt Disney World and did that, but I don't see that happening. Uh, all right, so next ride, here we go. What is this called? Uh, Harmonious. Harmonious. Yeah, I get it. It's it's not pretty. It really isn't. Uh, I, though I don't really know how much I like look at the middle of the lake. So it probably we, uh, we don't have. We're not standing in like America or Italy right. or uh, Japan. My guess is from that point of view, it probably obstructs your view of the ball a little bit. Oh yeah, that's really that a good spot. Yeah, by Italy. It's always the place we like to take pictures in front of. Uh, right, because you go down to like <clears throat> these railed areas and you can get a good shot of the water. So we're gonna take a leisurely stroll through Epcot and um, enjoy it. And then we're gonna head back to Magic Kingdom to get on three, hopefully three more rides. I think what Pirates, Jungle Cruise, and Ma uh, the, the Magic, Magic Carpet. Carpet. Just the last three things Winnie hasn't been on since we've been here. So. Maybe Mickey's Feel Her Magic and, and the Carousel, but those are the three big ones we want to hit. Yeah. That she can go on, and then I can go on. So, I guess we'll take you through Epcot and, and see how this ride goes. Yep. Taking a walk through Epcot. Fish and chips here. Yes, that's always here though. Oh. But most of them have the quick serve. Uh, oh, is that where one of the food hangs out? Typically, yeah. Here's another look at the eyesore. Yeah, I guess it really is kind of an eyesore. <laughs> it's pretty big, I don't know. I don't know. Kind of takes away from a lot. I wonder where the boat's gonna go now. We've never taken the boat, I don't think, from one side to the other, but. Yeah, it takes away a little bit. We decided to make a little pit stop since it is flower and garden. I got the lobster salad here. Let me flip you guys around. I already started to eat it, but it's really, it's good, it's refreshing. It was a 25, which I think is a little on the higher end. I mean, it is lobster, so that's to be expected, but they give you a decent amount of lobster. Probably could be more like 6.25 instead of 8.25, in my opinion. And then John is eating what, Johnny? I mean, a Dole Whip. Even though this made my unpopular Disney opinions, I am eating a Dole Whip. Because you're hot. I was in the mood for something cold, something refreshing. Even though I don't really find Dole Whip that refreshing, um, 
any soft serve was going to do at this point. It's so hot. And then we also got a violet lemonade, which I hope you can see. The violet lemonade, sorry for like the not cute background, but here's the violet lemonade. Is that a better background, guys? <laughs> it's good, it's refreshing. So just taking a quick break here and Winnie is still sleeping. So we're in not the biggest rush to get to Magic Kingdom because we can't do anything until she wakes up anyway. So let her nap even though it's like almost five o'clock. We want to keep her up till maybe like 10 anyway, so it's probably better. And then we're gonna hit Magic Kingdom. And then uh, tomorrow we're gonna be back in Epcot. Oh, I spoke too soon. There she is. Probably all frazzled. <laughs> oh, she might be going back to sleep, so I'm gonna go because maybe my voice is making me wake up. The boat coming? When do you see the boat coming? When you look at the boat. Wow. Look at the boat, Win. It's the Liberty Bell. Liberty Bell. Hi. Wave hi. When you say hi. When can you say hello? Say hi! Wow, look, the captain's waving. Wave hi, Winnie! Yeah, you say hi? Winnie and I are just hanging, and you can see uh, the boat going by. Actually, here. There's the boat. Winnie and I are just hanging, showing when people ride uh, the Thunder Mountain. It was a 15 minute wait. He got on it in six minutes, so that's one of the only times where the wait time is significantly less than what it was posted. Before that, we went on Pirates, and it took 25 minutes, and it was 25 minutes. Quack, quack. Quack, quack. Where's the duck? Winnie and I are just watching the ducks go by. Say hi. Hi. <laughs> She's just a little tired, and I'm tired too. It's day three and it's a lot different going on a trip with an 18 month old um, and been with other kids. I, I went a few years ago, six years ago with one of my best friends and her baby who was, or her husband and her baby who was seven months old at the time. And I have to tell you the truth, I feel like it might have been easier with maybe that small just because she could be carried and she could be fed more easily. So, uh, the waves are going. So we'll see if we take Winnie and baby number two when the baby is still young. I, I'm actually thinking we will. But we're just really enjoying a nice kind of peaceful moment here. There's, let's see if you guys are in. So we're in this little like alcove, like a job. I'm not sure if this is where, I don't think this is where you board for Tom, no, there's where you board for Tom Sawyer Island. Over through here, that's where you board for Tom Sawyer Island. And then there's Tom Sawyer Island up there. So we just watched the Liberty Bell go by and quack quack. quack, quack. You waiting for the ducks to come back? <coughs> yeah. Oh, there's one right there, Winnie. There goes a duck. <coughs> See the duck? Yeah. So we're just watching the ducks and uh, hanging out. It's it's a rare, rare quiet moment, and I'm truly enjoying just wind going by, sitting with my girl, and waiting for daddy or John to get off Thunder Mountain. I'm sure he'll be off fairly quickly, so just a peaceful time. Um, if you guys ever do get a chance to just take those quiet moments in, I highly recommend. It's, listen, I love the hustle and bustle. I love going from ride to ride, but especially with a little one, it's important for us to take a beat, slow down, chill, just have a few minutes of yeah. like tranquility, is that the word? Maybe. Peace and quiet, relaxation, whatever it is. Just enjoying people watching and, and being here and with my family and yeah. enjoying this magical moment, right baby? Yeah. Oh, there goes a the duck. Quack, quack. Oh, it's barking. <laughs> All right, time to go find Daddy. We're in front of Splash Mountain. Yeah. Winnie's excited for the duck. Yeah. Very excited for the duck. Yeah. I don't know if I'll ever get to ride it again. It's okay. Are you? 
What will you see, Winnie? The ducks? Splash Mountain is behind us. I don't know if Oliver gets to ride it again. I hope that I get to before they change it. I am excited for the changes, but I also would like to ride it one more time before it changes. Like we went on, what was Ellen's ride in Epcot? Uh, Ellen's Universe of Energy. Yeah, and I mean, I love Ellen, but I mean, that ride isn't anything spectacular, but before it closed, like we wanted to ride it just one more time just for nostalgia and whatnot. So for Splash, um, I'm five months pregnant, so I don't know when we'll be back, when I'll be able to ride it. You may ride it again, but I don't know. Do you guys know anything about when it's going to be closed for refurb? I'm sure it'll be closed for a while because they're probably have to do a lot. I think they're gonna wait. Just I don't know. My guess is they'll wait until the 50th is over and then do it. Oh, that's not a bad guess. What do you guys think? Do you think they'll wait until after the 50th? Do you think they'll do it maybe before the 50th is over? Like as a something? I don't know. I, I think they'll keep it open through the 50th. So I think you got you got about a good two years. I think. Okay, so maybe that's my guess. Maybe I do have a shot. I don't know what we're gonna do next, but whatever it is, we'll we'll take you there with us. And that is it for our Magic Kingdom day. We did a decent amount. What did we do today? We did Dumbo, we did the people mover, we did Dumbo! Yes. What else, Winnie? Magic Carpets, Pirates, Grand Prix. Grand Prix, Small World, we did Small World also. So we hope you enjoyed our day in Magic Kingdom with a little pit stop at Epcot. If you liked today's video, please give a thumbs up. subscribe if you're new and leave us a comment. What is your favorite thing to do in Magic Kingdom? Let us know in the comments down below. And with that, we'll see you real soon. Bye! Bye! What do you bye. say, Winnie? You say bye? Bye. Bye. <laughs>